Hi, I'm Tina Canada, and we are doing Eat Well again today. This is a program brought to us by OSF Healthcare and Illinois Critical Access Hospital Network um, grant funded program. So today we're featuring eggplant. So eggplant, beautiful dark purple color, um, pretty versatile plant. So when you're, when you're wanting to get an eggplant, you wanna look for one that has a nice purple color. If you uh, get one that has the brown streaks, that means that it's an older eggplant and it's gonna be a little bit tough and a little bit bitter. So before we start cooking, we're making eggplant medallions today. So <clears throat> um, eggplant Parmesan, you know, I love that, but there's over 350 calories in an eggplant Parmesan serving. And you know, it's not a real big serving. So you can easily rack up a lot of calories with eggplant Parmesan, but it's also pretty labor intensive to make at home. So what I kind of came up with um, probably a few decades ago was just that easy way to make something that resembled eggplant Parmesan. And my family fell in love with it. So we've been eating it for a really long time. We only have a few ingredients. We need an eggplant. We need some olive oil. We need uh, mozzarella cheese and spaghetti sauce. First, we're gonna cut our eggplant and you can cut it in rings or you can cut it lengthwise. I'm gonna do rings, that's just how I usually do it. And um, usually about a half inch thick is good. I don't peel the eggplant um, unless I'm gonna make a recipe where I'm pureeing it because if I puree it, I don't want that extra stringy fiber in there. So I'm gonna get the heat up on this. Um, grill. This recipe can be made on the grill. We're doing that today because we don't have an oven in our demo kitchen, but you can also make that this in your oven. You can um, broil it, bake it. Um, in the summer, it's great to do it in a grill. You could actually put these in the air fryer if you wanted or a toaster oven. So whatever is um, your favorite way to do some of that, because really we're just wanting to get this eggplant uh, where it's a little bit soft, maybe a little bit of brown on it. So we're gonna brush it with olive oil, just kind of lightly. Gonna just pop these on the grill. I'm putting the oil side down and I'm gonna add some oil on the other side because we are gonna flip these. It just should take a few minutes on each side. Brush the other side with some oil. I'm just gonna take a look at these and see if we're ready to flip them. I think so, we got a little bit of grill marks here. All right, our eggplant is um, a product that has a lot of different vitamins and minerals, so a lot of health benefits in eating eggplant. So I actually took some notes, so I'm just gonna kind of glance at these while I'm sharing those with you. One cup of eggplant has about 20 calories, so it's a really low calorie food. And when I look at this um, spaghetti sauce that we bought, there is 40 calories and a half a cup, and we're not gonna put a whole half a cup on each one of these. So even with the addition of cheese, you've got a very low calorie product here. In that same cup of eggplant, there's 4.8 grams of ca uh, carbohydrate, so very low in carbs, and there's 2.5 grams of fiber. So in a cup of eggplant, you would get about 10% of the fiber that you need in a whole day. So really good that way, especially if you're gonna leave the um, peeling on it. The eggplant has um, vitamin C, vitamin K, and vitamin B6. It is um, full of thiamine, niacin, magnesium, and manganese, and several other antioxidants. So you can see it's a very uh, vitamin-rich vegetable. There's phosphorus, copper, and iron, and calcium, and potassium, as well as other minerals. So again, a very mineral-rich vegetable. Some of the health benefits include the fact that it aids in digestion, and that's because of the amount of fiber that we find in an eggplant and it can improve our heart health because fiber does help reduce cholesterol in our diet. Other health benefits for our 
eggplant include um, improved bone health because of the iron and calcium that we find in the eggplant. Um, the actual compounds in the eggplant that make it purple are actually uh, some of the things that do promote good bone health and can have been shown to reduce osteoporosis. So especially for um, us as we age, we wanna keep our bones nice and healthy. So this is um, consuming eggplant can help with that. It also can prevent anemia because of the amount of iron that it has in it. And amazingly, eggplant can increase our brain function because of the phytonutrients can increase the blood flow in your brain and it boosts memory by creating new neural pathways. So those are just some of the health benefits that you find in eggplant. Once we get these where they're grilling pretty good, we're just gonna top with some spaghetti sauce. So as you can see, about two tablespoons is really all that you need to cover this pretty nicely. If you had, because eggplants are all a little bit different in size, like this piece is a little bigger, so I might add a little bit more. But again, you don't want it really running off the side and um, just getting down in your grill. So usually about two tablespoons is gonna be good for most eggplant slices. Then we're gonna just put a little bit of mozzarella on each one. Um, maybe a tablespoon or a little more. And just kind of spread it out on there. So, got that on. And because we are doing this on a grill, and I, if you're in the oven, or if you had an outdoor grill, you've got a lid on there and you're gonna be able to melt your cheese really well, but I'm not gonna be able to do that. So I'm just gonna cover that with something so that we can get the cheese melted. Once the cheese is melted, then we're ready to serve this dish. So just takes a couple of minutes, probably two or three minutes to get the cheese melted on your eggplant medallions. Okay, I think the cheese looks pretty melty. And then two, you know, makes a nice uh, serving for a meal. You had this with uh, a salad or something, you'd have a uh, plenty big meal. And for people who are watching their carbs, you could actually have a little piece of garlic bread with this because this dish has so few carbohydrates in it that um, even if you ate more of this, you're getting very few carbs. So remember that a cup of the eggplant, and we have less than that here on this plate, would only have 20 calories, 4.8 grams of carbohydrate, and 2.5 grams of fiber. And you can find this recipe at osfhealthcare.org recipes. Thanks for joining us.